Hey guys, back with another video. Today I'm reviewing this product that I picked up on the internet called City Bonfires. If you're anywhere on Instagram, you've seen these ads. It's two stay-at-home dads that uh, lost their income during COVID and uh, put their brains together, came up with this product uh, in their garage, and now they're selling uh, millions of them online. So um, they're out in Maryland, it's made in the USA, and basically what this is, is a, a bonfire in a can. So it's, uh, it's designed to um, light these four briquettes to create, kind of take the full surface area of this canister and create a bonfire effect. So if you have a traditional candle, for instance, you would light it at a single point, you have a single flame. This one, you're gonna light all four briquettes. It's gonna use up that surface area and it will create um, a pretty massive flame. It's, it's, very, uh, it's very nice. It does use um, soy-based wax in there so you can cook uh, a marshmallow or roast a marshmallow on it if you wanna do s'mores. It's super lightweight and just compact to um, put into a backpack if you're going camping. Uh, if you don't have real estate um, in your backyard to build a bonfire, you can use one of these um, you know, on a, on a patio, if you will, or, or if you live in an apartment on an exterior patio. Um, very easy to extinguish. You just put the, the top back on it to extinguish the flame. So I'll go ahead and light this up. I'm gonna show you how to light it and what it looks like and then um, how to extinguish it. And then we'll go from there. So when you first get the product and you take it out of the box, you will notice that it does come with a warning label. It's for general, um, general common sense things like once this thing starts burning, um, the sides will get really hot. The wax inside will turn to liquid, so be very careful when you're moving it because the liquid could come out. Um, the flame will be high, so make sure you have it in an area where there's not something uh, directly over the top of it. Always want to burn it on some sort of a brick like this because the bottom is going to get hot, so you don't want something that could potentially melt. So um, burning it outside, obviously, burning it on a brick platform, um, enough clearance, and just be very careful, move it well. I mean, let it cool before you move it at all because this will heat up. And also, if you do move it, uh, that the liquid wax is not um, still in a liquid form and could spill and burn someone. So tools that you will need to, um, to light the city bonfire is a long neck lighter, preferably. It's very difficult to light this with a match or just a traditional Bic lighter. So a long neck lighter. And if you have trouble lighting these briquettes, a, um, a pair of scissors to score each of these briquettes can be used um, to to light this thing up a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this and we'll see what the flame looks like. Okay, so I've already scored these. I'll go ahead and light them up. You just kind of hold the lighter on there for a few minutes. And you do want to get all four of these lit. You can see how difficult, more difficult it is when the portion of this briquette is not pulled up. So if you can flip those briquettes up a little bit, it makes it a lot easier to light. There we go, all four of them are going. We'll give them a second to start uh, uniformly burning. And so you can already start to see the wax starting to burn a little bit and melt. Um, this will last for, uh, the box says three to five hours burn time and it is reusable so you can put the uh, top back on there and reuse it another time.
So I picked a couple of these up for a Halloween party that we're having uh, here in the next couple weeks. Um, but they're really good for any gathering. As I mentioned, extremely portable and easy to use. I put a link uh, to this product in the description with a promo code embedded in it already. If you're anything like me, when you get to the checkout of any product, you see that promo code or discount code text field, you spend a half hour then searching the web for some sort of a discount code that might potentially work. I've already embedded the code into the link so that you don't have to do that. I've also put the website link um, uh, in there as well. Feel free to go and check these guys out. It's very cool, very cool website they have, very cool story. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next video.